Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight. That's right. We have chapter 29 of Thing by David Williams. And tonight's chapter is called Big Thing, Meet Little Thing. Now, dear readers, I invite you to regard this splendid heartwarming scene in the living room. Thing was bouncing excitedly next to the cage that housed the other thing from the pet shop. Blink, 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 blink. Mother looked on with delight. Oh, how super, she squealed. Big thing just can't wait to meet little thing. Little Thing had emerged from under a pile of newspaper and was pressing its mouth, or perhaps its other end, up against the bars of the cage. Big Thing banged against it as it bounced. Eek, 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 it squeaked. Boink, 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 boink. Ting, 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 ting. With some difficulty, Father lodged his daughter into the room and deposited her on the sofa. Thump! A cloud of dust filled the room. These two adorable creatures are going to be best friends, said Mother. Look, Myrtle, dearest. What? As they are your pets, perhaps you'd like to introduce Big Thing to Little Thing. Cartoons? Now? Yes, now. (sighs) Mother sighed and switched on the television. Myrtle stared at it, picking her nose, idly. I know from studying all the animal behaviour books in the library that when introducing one pet to another, it is sensible to take things very slowly, began Mrs Meek. Oh, excellent point, Mother. Thank you kindly, Father. You hold on to the big thing while I gently take the little thing out of its cage. Mr. Meek did what he was told. He kneeled down, slightly snagging his long beard under his knees. Ouch! Are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine, he replied sharply. And then he pinned Big Thing to the carpet to stop it from bouncing. Grrr! Meanwhile, Mrs. Meek gently opened the little thing's cage. Twang! Eek, eek, eek! Right, she said, as she reached in. I'm just going to let them sniff each other first. Mother cupped her hand over Little Thing, who was only the size of a marble. Slowly, slowly, slowly she brought the creature down to meet the newest member of the family. Little Thing's eyes widened. Little Thing, meet Big F... f but before she could say, Ing, Big Thing burst out of father, father's grip, bounced up, grrr, boink, and chomp. Devouring little thing in one gulp. <gasps> Gorgle. Hmm, that didn't go quite to plan, did it? remarked mother. Burp. Um, Perhaps the scene wasn't as heartwarming as I had hoped. Apologies. The end of chapter 29 of Thing by David Williams as Big Thing Meet Little Thing here on the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and small and big little things around the world. Good night.